Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 23 September 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Oudendahl writes that greater urgency is advised as climate change amplifies South Africa's water insecurity. Water security remains one of the biggest challenges facing South Africa, with the country's supply facing many threats amid increasing demand and relatively low water availability. While the situation may not yet be an absolute crisis, if left unchecked, the water sector is a few years away from water shortages. The engineering news features focus on health and safety, where the amendment bill fails to recognize the safety practitioner profession. A profile on the National Association of Automotive Component and Allied Manufacturers, where NARCAM's initiatives are plugging skills gaps. And heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, where an electronic certificate of conformity is now compulsory. The Mining Weekly features focus on a preview of the Joburg in Darba, with the conference seeking to evaluate the status quo of the mining sector. And hydrogen, fuel cells and the green economy, where HISA embarks on a collaboration for a green hydrogen and ammonia project. This week's business leader is Peter Steenkamp, CEO of Harmony Gold Mining Company. And as this week's cartoon shows, when medical cannabis-focused special purpose acquisition company Silocybin Holdings debuts on the JSE later this year, it will reportedly be Africa's first such listing. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.